Welcome to Pantech e-learning. Today we are going to see the project Cascaded H-Bridge 11 level inverter using reduced number of switches. Here, the block diagram for the project. For the main circuit, we are using 3 transformer. Here we are using 3 inverters. For one inverter 6 volt and another inverter 12 volt and another 18 volt. These three for main circuit and for TLP250 driver board 12 volt step down tapping transformer is connected. Here Arduino will act as the pulse generator. Across the main circuit R load is connected. We can measure the output by using DSO or CRO. This is the Arduino which we are using in this project. You can learn deeply about Arduino. You can visit our LMS portal of Pantech e-learning by using these links. TLP250 driver unit. This is the circuit for TLP250 driver unit. Driver unit is mainly used to amplify and isolate the pulse which is generated by the controller. From Arduino the pulse is provided around 3.3 volt to 5 volt. It's not enough to switch on power devices like MOSFET and IGBT. To amplify that pulse, we are using driver unit. TLP250 IC amplify and isolates the pulse it up to 12 to 15 volt with the same frequency. It's the main image for TLP250 driver unit. This is TLP250 IC, driver IC. This is Darlington transistor. This pattern is used to amplification and this is the center diode, normal diode, capacitors, LED, resistor we are using here. This is the comparison of pulse which is given by Arduino and which is given to power devices like MOSFET. This is the pulse which is generated by Arduino. You can see it's around 5 volt and this is the pulse which is given to MOSFET. It's around 5, 10, 15 volt. It's around 15 volt. Main circuit for cascaded H-bridge multi-level inverter. Here we are using 3 MOSFETs. 1, 2, and 3. For first inverter we are giving 6 volt as input. For second inverter 12 volt. And for third we are giving 24 volt. Here we are mentioned the MOSFETs as M1, M2, M3 and M4. Across this R load we can measure the output by using CRO. This is the pulse pattern which we are using in this circuit. We can able to see we are using 12 switches. Here, M1 up to M12. According to this pattern, level levels are generated. This is the total hardware image. This is the main circuit. Here we are using 3 inverters. Bridge rectifier is used for rectify AC to DC and this capacitor is used for filtering. Here, this is 6 volt transformer for first inverter. This is 12 volt transformer for second inverter. This is 18 volt transformer for third inverter. These two transformers are used to power up this TLP250 driver board. From the Arduino, the pulse is connected by this RMC cables. Here we are using 12 TLP units because we are using 12 number of MOSFETs here. Now we can see the working principle of this project. This is the total hardware for cascaded H-bridge multi-level inverter. Now we are going to see the working principle of this inverter. This is the total hardware for cascaded H-bridge multi-level inverter. Now we are going to see the working principle for this inverter. Yeah, now we can see. This is an Arduino. This is TLP250 driver board. This is the TLP250 IC which is used for amplification and isolation. And finally, this is the main circuit diagram. This is the main circuit. 
here we are using three single phase inverter here we can see this is one single phase inverter this is one single phase inverter and this is one single phase inverter for these three inverters we are giving three individual power supply by various transformer this is 6 volt step down transformer for primary side we need to give 6 volt in second pin we need to give 12 volt in third pin we need to give 18 volt we need double the range that's what we are using in first pin 6 volt and second 12 third 18 these are also the 12 volt step down transformer which is used to give power supply to TLP 250 driver board and from Arduino we are giving the pulse here Arduino is acting as the pulse generator through this wire the pulse is given to TLP 250 driver board this IC will amplify and isolate the pulse up to 15 volt from Arduino it will produce up to 3 to 5 volt and this TLP 250 IC amplifies and isolates amplifies and isolates the voltage into 12 to 15 volt without any change in frequency that pulse is given to this main circuit to this MOSFET driver these two pulses are connected across gate terminal and source terminal now we can see the working now I am going to give power supply for Arduino through this cable now we can see after the pulse given this LED will glow yeah. now I am going to turn on the TLP 250 driver board around now I am going to turn on TLP 250 driver board yeah. now from the Arduino the pulse is given to TLP 250 driver board at that time this LED start glows at here Arduino will produce 3.32 5 volt but we need to switch on the MOSFET we need at least 12 to 15 volt it will boost it will amplify and isolate and it will give 12 to 15 volt we can see that we can see the waveform by using DSO or CRO this is the DSO probe now I am going to connect it across this inner diode to check the output voltage Now we can see the waveform. Yeah, now we can see the waveform. It will be around 12 to 15 volt. We can check across all these inner diodes. Here we are using three single phase inverter number of MOSFETs 12 that's what we are using 12 individual TLP driver we can check all those 12 yeah we can see the waveform Yeah, this is the output waveform for TLP 250 driver board. Now I am going to turn on the 6 volt, 12 volt and 18 volt step down transformer. From this tra transformer the AC voltage is generating. To convert AC to DC we are using bridge rectifier here. In this we are using the MOSFET IRF 840. Now we can see the output across this load resistor three single phase inverter are connected internally now we can see the output voltage across this load resistor now I am going to turn on the transformer 
Yeah, now I am going to turn on these two. Now I am going to connect the probe across this load resistor. Now we can see the output via DSO or CRO. Here we can see the 11 level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the final output image which is measured by using DSO. You can see the level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. These are the components which we are using in this project. Arduino, you know, TLP250 driver board, 12 volt tapping transformer for driver board, and 6 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt transformer for main circuit and R load, 5 watt load resistor. And we will provide do it yourself package also. It contains Arduino, project coding, TLP250 driver unit, 12 volt step down tapping transformer and for main circuit there are transformer, 2 pin power card, RMC connectors, GP board which is general purpose board. In this project we are using the MOSFET IRF840 and capacitor and 5 watt load resistor and we can provide the guidance up to 2 hours and this test for testing this project you need these components multimeter, DSO or CRO, soldering end which are not provided in this package. Thank you for watching this video. You can contact us for this project by this number or this mail id you can visit our website by using this www.pantakelearning.com thank you